Alright, welcome. So this is a video tutorial showing us the step-by-step -step process on how to create a Facebook business manager, a Facebook business manager for our Facebook page. Now, um, this is a personal brand, Doc Bright. So we'll be creating for this personal brand, a Facebook business manager so that from there we could run adverts. Without wasting much time, I'll be taking us now to my phone browser. Please use a phone browser for this particular creation of a Facebook business manager. Now on my phone browser, I uh, come to my home page and there on my home page, I type in business.facebook.com forward slash create once I have this typed out on my phone I click on enter and it brings me to this page right on this page I would zoom in so you can see what I'm doing right on this page I come to the top right side and I click on create account once I click on create account because I'm already logged in the name automatically pops up this is the name of the personal profile doc bright which is different from the name of the brand which we are creating this account for so the the brand is doc bright which is the business name or the personal brand name and it is different from the normal facebook name but for this very account coincidentally the normal business name is the same as the normal facebook name so in your case, it might be different. If your name, if your personal profile on Facebook bears a different name, that is the name that would appear under your name. And then at this first row here, we are asked to impute our business name and account name. So the name that should go in here in the first row here is the name of the personal brand or the business that you're creating this Facebook business manager for. And like I said, coincidentally, it is the same name as a personal name on the Facebook page. So the business name for this would be Doc Bright. Just as I showed us before we got to this very page, Doc Bright. And then you leave what is already written on under the row for your name. Because it's expected that you should have been logged into your account before you can access this page. Or before you can bypass this page and then the next thing under your business email please supply the correct information when you're creating this the business email here is docbright002 at gmail.com at gmail.com now once we have this all set up we submit and then we wait for this to load and then once it's loaded we are told that the business manager doc bright was created so we are requested to confirm our email address so to do this you have to go back to your email box and then click on the message from facebook asking you to verify or to confirm your business manager but for time's sake we won't be doing that but that is very necessary to be done so please ensure you do it however once this is done we can still continue with our setup so here we have this popping up we can cancel this so this is what we have once we are set up once we have set up our business manager account however this is not where we want to be this is a different this is a different platform or a different interface altogether so what you want to do when you are shown this interface is to go down the page i'll be zooming in so that you see what i'm doing go down the page here we have help and we have give feedback you click on give feedback and then you switch to business manager you tap on this switch to business manager and then the pop-up comes up to the screen and then you click on switch 
once you switch you wait for it to load to load the page when this pops up you cancel and then you wait until the page is fully loaded we are waiting for the page to load now this is the interface for your facebook business manager there are so many things that you can do here but for time's sake i would only be touching the basic ones now i will be zooming in so that we can see everything here remember we are told to verify our business email and because we are here to do that that is why we are having this message this message will continue to be here until the business email is verified but that is not a problem we come down to this part under this very interface here if i click under this home here if i click on this you would see a drop down now this your account that we see in here is the personal account that was created when we signed up on facebook and automatically facebook grants us an automatic ad account attached to our personal account created but like i told us in the tutorial it is not advisable it is not advisable to use this ad account for advertising for reasons that we have already discussed so we will be creating a different ad account from this one we have here that is specifically for our business so we are still on the page doc bright still on the page doc bright and then we would go up here click on these three lines we we'll click on these three lines and when we click on the three lines we have different options up here we have different options coming up here we we'll click on business settings business settings we we'll click on that and we wait for it to load now this business settings gives us virtually access to create delete and re-edit everything or edit rather everything that we want under our business manager so quickly we'll be doing just about two three things here because of time the first thing we want to do is to bring our page bring our page which in this case is dog bright we want to bring it to our business manager because presently our page is not linked to our business manager so to do that we come under accounts we go to pages under accounts we go to pages and right there we can see doc bright doesn't have any pages yet so we want to bring that page doc bright under our business manager so that we could do other operations on it so we'll be adding our page once we click on add we have two options either to add a page or we request access to a page now our concern here is to add a page because we are not running this business for others so we'll not be dealing with that but we are running this for ourselves so to add our page we click on add a page and it brings up an option for us here to enter our page url or our page name so remember the name of that page doc bright as you're typing options are coming up for you and so this is the first name here is the page that we want to add so we click on it doc bright and then we click on add page so once that is done we are told that doc bright has been added we close this and then we can see that right here the page has been added to our business manager now that's not all um we already have the page added to our business manager so the next thing we want to quickly do now is to create an ad account to create an ad account now to create an ad account quickly come down to setup guide setup guide and on that setup guide you scroll up to ad account 
now add accounts under add accounts you have add if you want to claim an add account you have request access if you want to run or have access to another person's ad account or you create an ad account and in this case we have to create an ad account and of course the same thing applies for pages if you do not have any page at all you never had any page you could actually come to create one under this create page here and other things applies accordingly so i would advise that after this uh, tutorial take your time to play around the interface so that you understand better what this whole business manager affords you while you use it so quickly we create another account we click on create another account and we have a pop-up right here now the informations we put here the information we put here is very crucial first we need an ad account name this could be any name at all in this case i would use doc bright doc bright ad account doc bright ad account now the time zone that we we'll decide to use is very important why because it affects the way or the behavior of our adverts when we begin to run adverts so you want to be sure that the time zone you select is the time zone of where your business is so that your adverts can be so configured in a way that favors your business there's so many other things that is required to know as the reason why the time zone should align with the locality of where you are running your business but time will not allow us to go through all that in details so i would just say in a simple term that ensure that the time zone you are choosing the time zone you're choosing is the same time zone of where your business is located so in the case of mine here i'll choose lagos which is gmt plus one and when it comes to currency i don't want to stress myself going through using a dollar account because that will require a lot of process so i'll rather use a naira account since i am in nigeria and i would like to run my ads with naira so i'll quickly scroll up to locate where i have nigerian naira right here I click on it and once that is all set up I scroll down here and click on next now I have set up my ad account I'm being asked is this ad account to be used for my personal business or for other people's business I'll choose my business and then I create once that is after the ad account has been created it brings me to this page it brings me to this page where I have to grant access to the people that would control this ad account. So in my case, since this ad account belongs to Doc Bright, I would click on the name Doc Bright and then I scroll up here forward to where I have all this access information under ad account. You need to read through to know exactly the the kind of access you're giving to anybody who is having access to your ad account because anybody that has access to your ad account basically has access to all the money in the ad account so if it is a partial access you want to give you can tick any of the access that you desire the person or whoever it is to have control over your ad account and in this case since doc bright owns the ad account i'll just give doc bright a full access to the ad account so this is full access and then i click on assign so this ad this assigns a full access to doc bright that is she can control everything that concerns this ad account and then it brings me up to the payment option that we talked about in class earlier so this payment option i can add payment info if i wish and I can decide to close it if I do not want to add any payment info. So if I'm adding a payment info, it means I am ready to attach my card to the payment option so that anytime I run an ad, the, the, the price or the charge of Facebook for the advert 
will be deducted from the card that I will be adding to my payment info. But usually I do not like to add any card for any payment info. I prefer going through a pay you method. So I'll be showing us when we begin to run adverts, how to go about paying Facebook with our pay you option. So I'll cancel this and then it asks if I really want to exit, I exit. And that brings me to the last part of this very tutorial, which is under users, I go to people. And then under people, I can see that what I have here is Doc Bright giving the admin access. So Doc Bright now controls both our page and our ad account. We can see that. So the same thing applies. We could play around all these. If we want to add our Instagram account, just as we can see below here, we can go ahead and add it. If we want to add your WhatsApp account, so we go ahead and add it. Every other thing just goes in line with the way we added our page and our ad account. So this is how to create our page and that is how to create an ad account all in one tutorial. Thank you.